Hi, second graders. In social science today, uh, we are going to be explaining how to use a map key. Hopefully you already um, watched this video about how to use a map key. And now I'm going to show you that site that we worked on the other day with the compass rows. But again, sometimes it can be um, a few more qu clicks than I would like. So I would just want you to see where you need to go for today. So we're going to let this guy talk to us a little bit Hello. here. So once he opens up the map, he's going to tell us the different parts of the map. References, symbols and keys, scale, compass skills. Okay, so remember today we're working on map key. So we're going to arrow through him once he starts this here. Map gives you in the and then I'm going to go to my map key and I'm going to click on there, okay? Six. Now he's going to go through all of the different parts so that we know what each of those pictures are for. Landscape maps use symbol contour lines, loch, river, forest, moorland, mountain peak, beach, cliffs. Houses, log cabin, ferry, bridge, broad. Okay, so now we know that each of these pictures the is tilted. You can see what Sorry. the island would look like in real life. Okay, so um, we can tip this so that we can kind of see the geography of the land and see that, you know, the mountains are going to be higher raised. Um, than the river or the road. So that is kind of a neat thing to check out there. Um, once you've kind of worked with that and seen what the key um, is for, you can click next. It's gonna give you some pictures and you're supposed to match the symbols to the pictures. Match the photograph. So if I look at this picture, I have to decide, is this what they call a lock? We might call it a lake. Is it a forest or is it a mountain? I'm gonna say um, a forest, okay? And then I can go to the next one. Same thing. All right. So that's your job today is matching these symbols or these keys to the pictures that you see here um, that he's giving us. So good luck and we'll have another lesson tomorrow.